intimidation, abduction and harassment against them. The authorities have denied it. Our Pakistan correspondent Caroline Davis reports. A public return. Nawaz Sharif has been Prime Minister three times. Back from self-imposed exile last year, he's looking likely to win a fourth. In 2018, he was the one in prison when Imran Khan won. The tables have turned. This time, these elections are overshadowed by allegations that the state is turned against Imran Khan and his party. Some of his candidates have found new ways to campaign. Atif Khan conducts rallies on a screen. He's hiding from the police. Surreal as this is, this isn't the only one of the candidates backed by Imran Khan's party that are running their campaign remotely. Others are also doing it from hiding, whether that's online, social media. Some are even running their campaign from prison. Many see this as a reversal of what happened last election. Your opponents will say that you celebrated when they were being targeted, when they were being put in jail. Do you regret that now? Should you have done more? Uh, no one should celebrate anyone's conviction. Uh, we ourselves have made mistakes. I hope we learn from those mistakes and uh, hope that we don't repeat that. The authorities deny there's a campaign against the party. We find these allegations baseless and absurd. Yes, people have been arrested, but those arrests were made uh, some related to May 9 incidents and some uh, involved in other criminal cases. 9th of May is when Imran Khan's arrest led to violent protests. Hundreds of his supporters were jailed and many of his leadership team left. Parting ways with politics for now. Including ex-minister Usman Dar. Now, Dar's mother, who has never been in politics, is campaigning in his old seat. I am with Imran Khan and will stay with Imran Khan. If I am left alone in public, I will still carry Imran Khan's flag and take to the streets. Imran Khan himself is in prison, serving several sentences. Jailing political leaders is not new in Pakistan. There is a clear uh, and, and sustained uh, pressure that the PTI has had to absorb uh, that is not dissimilar to the pressures other parties have, have absorbed. This is the set piece. When you decide to fall out with the military, you better have the preparation that will allow you to take on the military and win. The PTI are marching on. 